on to 829 and on to eh, the beach episode oh sorry my mic's way over there uh hey look we're back and we are heading back for the beach episode today it should be the beach episode i'm like 99 percent sure it's the beach episode anyway so something going on in the video game industry so recently uh what was his name sonic team or the current sonic team upon making Sonic Superstars, had an interview talking about why it's unlikely we're going to get more games like Sonic Mania. Let's see, let me go to the exact quote. Where is it? Ah. The lead producer of Sonic Superstars and head of Sonic Team, the developer on the franchise, spoke to GamesRadar about the upcoming platform and why the hop to 2D to 3D. These are the fundamental pillars that we have. We are expanding into movies and TVs, but we need to have both the 3D and 2D lineup for our gaming audience. Where is it? Okay. So the thing he said was, we look at pixel art, it's great, but when we think about 10 to 20 years ago, 10 to 20 years in the future, we don't think it's going to be a viable art style or, or presentation for our players. And in order to advance and really step up things up, we want to make sure we're presenting something that in 10 to 20 years down the road will still evolving and creating new content. Now, at first, I was pissed, and I wanted to think of all the examples that kind of prove that shit wrong, including one example I'm currently playing, Bomber Cyberpunk. I will be going back to that. I just haven't had enough time when I get home at night because of my job. Eh, shit happens. Um, but I wanted to be mad, but at the end of the day, he's not wrong. Sure, you have people like me who understand the greatness of pixel art and realize that it, this is a... It's, it's vintage. It's chic. It's like a record player. And just something about that sound and style is just so nostalgic and good that you can't help but enjoy it. And you got to appreciate it for what it is and what it did for the time. But there are people out there. There's a lot more. God, I can't believe I'm saying this unironically. Normies who see that kind of art style and be like, oh, it's so. Why does it look like that? It's so old. Why can't it have realistic graphics? And I understand that at the end of the day, companies just want to make money. And making a money that's just for a niche population isn't enough. So, I want to be upset, but he's not wrong. He's really not. Even though video games, when it comes to video games, graphics are the least important part of them, I will die on that fucking hill. I get what he's saying. Because there are newer age gamers who will see shit like this and be like, Oh, the graphics don't look as good as Modern Warfare, so it's a bad game. Even though they're morons for saying it. Either way... Let's get into this. And there's nothing I can do today, right? Can't do Iowa. Can't do Yoshida because he's maxed out. Can't do Chihaya without going into Mementos. Guess we'll just play a video game. Uh, or I can, I can watch a DVD. No, I can't. I need to return my DVD. I mean... Returning a DVD, thank you very much. Rent a DVD. Uh, Charmed. 31. Oh, so it's like based off 21. Or is it 24? I can't remember. It's been way too long since I've seen that show. Anyway, back to Cafe LeBlanc. There we go. Let's watch a DVD. 31. There's a story about an editor trying to rush to a struggling writer to meet his deadline. Mm. The editor is terrifying. No one could finish that many pages in such a short time. Does he even stand a chance? The writer was given an impossible task, but he kept on writing until his fingers bled. Maybe you later think or two about guts from watching this drama. Do not do that to yourself. Do not break yourself on the fucking wheel for a company. It's not worth it. They don't care enough for you. Do not cripple your livelihood for a fucking company. Anyway. As depressing as that was. Would 
Kaba will be in your care today. Got it. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. I won't leave her side. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. <laughs> have fun, but be careful, you two. You got a coffee, Dad. Beach episode. Beach episode. Oh, man, it's packed. Yusuke, why are you wearing that? Sorry for the wait. Hmm? I had a friend that was like that. Cool chick. How'd she get all her hair under that towel? Good job, Futaba. Look at her coming out of her shell. It's adorable. Oh, it's so hot. Right, Ryuji? people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. Do you have a place to cook it? This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play I, some beach volleyball? You know, I... <laughs> embarrassing story! I did that one time! What Ryuji just did, I did one time. So, I'm not the most extroverted person, but in high school, and, uh... In high school, and, uh, my... Uh, before I went to my first year of college, I... I'm not, I'm an extroverted person with, with like my core friend group, but when I'm like by myself, I'm good to just chill. I can just stay chilling forever kind of thing. But I had a more outgoing friend who wanted to go out a lot. And I'm like, eh, screw it. I'll go out with him. And one time, so we went to, not a beach, but a swimming pool. It was us and, let's see, it was me and my friend, two of our other college male friends, and then three female friends. And there was a girl who was just kind of chilling by herself most of the time. I'm, and I'm like, hey, you you good? And she's kind of covering herself and stuff like that. And she's like, oh, I don't feel like I really fit in. I'm like, nah, come on. You want to you wanna play around in the water and stuff? And she got in the water. We started having fun. So <laughs> that lack of tact that Ryuji just did is something I have done before. <laughs> oh, sorry. Us girls already 
made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? What it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. Wait, what is it? But, Lady On. What did, what did we do? Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. What's wrong? What did Ryuji? Oh, come on. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. I don't feel like Ryuji deserved to be disrespected there. Shut up, stop yelling. Having more good times in reality too? I don't care. Actually, you know what? You have a point, man. Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Don't ask me. Well, you gotta steal, you know what? Arts? On made fun of us and all. Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Mono, you're a cat. You have Let's the id. All the hearts with the skills we've honed as phantom thieves. You, you have the in here, man. Also, is there a scene like this in every of the least of the modern Persona games? Let's see. Yeah, there's one in Persona Three. That's how you meet, I guess. Is there not really one in, there's an Onsen one kind of in Persona 4, I guess. Hmm. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. Yusuke, why are you in a hoodie? So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right. Let's hurry up and go. Yo. Yo, thrown to the bus. <laughs> Deny. Oh, so <laughs> the anime is not that great. Oh, uh, already got a boyfriend. So the anime is not that great, <laughs> but the beach episode of this is great because <laughs> while uh, all three these guys are trying, Yusuke's just kind of like watches a crab and is like, I'm going to trace that crab. <laughs> and then he gets two lobsters. <sighs> oh no, the sad defeat music. I don't know. Lucian just looks kind of bland to me. Feel better, man. Say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG! <laughs> you sketches dipped out. And he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? So, in the original version of this game, this scene was a lot more offensive because they just straight sexually assaulted Ryuji, just unironically. They changed it in Persona 5 to say, no, you should go drag slash homosexual with us as opposed to straight up sexually assaulting. It's still kind of bad, but it's better, quote unquote. What are you guys doing here? Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. Angel. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have Julian. guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? <laughs> Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, 
I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. <laughs> so, are you ready to steal some arts? Uh, we gotta go. Sorry. Was it something I said? No. Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. <laughs> <sighs> no. No more makeovers. <sighs> By the way, where's Yusuke? Getting lobsters. So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. <laughs> this is also a funny scene, because after Yusuke buys the lobsters, <laughs> you're able... Okay, so prior to it, Futaba's like, oh, can you buy this thing for me? And then <laughs> Red opens his wallet, and you can see all the money he has when you obviously going to Mementos in the anime. And then after Yusuke comes up, and, and like with the lobsters, wait for it. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but... I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time On entered my gaze. Good for you. Aw. We're here with friends. Aw, oh, darn it. It doesn't pop up. Like, there's a scene after you say comes over showcase of the lobsters. Red goes like, do you have money to get home? <gasps> <laughs> you come for a nice cruise on our boat there's going to be a party too tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along are you even listening to us <laughs> sorry about the wait huh so you were serious about being here with friends that's what we've been saying from the start don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them far more interesting than anything involving you two. Oh, shots hey Let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <laughs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. You didn't want to hold them off. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Whoa, are those lobsters? Chance. I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your <laughs> These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We need tons of stuff today. <laughs> Sorry, just for Tama, just like. Oh, that's new. <laughs> just grasp me up like, I want one. No, get your own. These are my lobsters. That it was my fault that my mom died. Uh huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished. I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Uh, I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? 
The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. <clears throat> That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts, that I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, oh, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. Yeah. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. Okay, ow. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed. It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Yep. Then the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned. Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was. I don't know for sure. Like, right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I just realized, every one of your crew is basically a prodigy of some kind, except for you, when you're just an all-arounder. You have An, who has, who's just amazing genetics. Ryuji, who is just this amazing runner. Makoto, who is just this amazing, like, tactical mind. Futaba, who's just this amazing genius. And then you have the, this art genius that is Yusuke. And then you have the next two. But we'll get to them when we get to Oh, technically next three. We'll get to them when we get to them. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. As you shouldn't. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. 
Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ryuji is ready to box this cat. Let me let me see if I can find it. See, where is it? There was like a really funny image of like Yusuke legitimately, or uh, Ryuji, hands up, ready to box Morgana. I can't find it. Nah, fuck it. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her Goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. Damn. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? Pharaoh? I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. So, in the Japanese version of this game series, her name is Navi because navigator um and she's called oracle here because she's she has this literal same color and character like, affected character what's it called oracle dc comics so she has a lot of the same uh concepts of a character as oracle the bright red hair, big glasses, uh, hacker kind of concept as uh, Oracle, Barbara Gordon. So there was this in, I think it was the Killing Joke, right? Yeah, I think it was the Killing Joke where Joker crippled uh, Barbara Gordon by shooting her in the stomach. And she was paralyzed from, like, the waist down, so she couldn't be Batgirl anymore. So instead, she was like, alright, I'm still really fucking smart from all my time training with, um... Training with Batman, so... I guess I'm gonna go be Oracle. And she uses her science and her and clever, intelligent mind to be Oracle instead. Apparently, it's been passed around to several people. Oh, like, in the New 52, Oracle is actually Dick Grayson. Dark Multiverse, it's still Barbara Gordon. You have character name. Oh, there's a... In Flashpoint, it's Selena Kyle. But most of the time, yeah, it's Barbara Gordon. And then in Justice Multiverse, it's also Barbara Gordon. Anyway, but yeah, she's Oracle literally because of the Barbara Gordon character. Sounds great. Tabo B Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. It's almost like certain pieces are being stacked in certain ways to see something could happen. Nah, I couldn't be. Anyway. Should we get going then? Yep. Let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjad seems to have been more effective than predicted. 
This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Hey. You're back. How'd it go with Futaba? I hear you've been keeping your company for the past few days. Thanks. A criminal who uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore. Especially because they might be the ones who killed Futaba's mom. It, it is. Spoilers, it is. To be honest, I had considered the idea they might be behind the rumored psycho psychotic breakdowns. But now it appears the person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people's mentally shut down, which then caused them to die. What happens when you kill someone's shadow? Yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it back when Kamashita and Matarami, remember? Psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It would make sense if the same person was behind them. The news never talks about the pe victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. So this shit's a ser seriously a case? That's for real. Whoever's doing it is some kind of assassin. We gotta beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We don't know much even about our metaverse now. That's true. What do I think exists? There was a man in my dreams. A dream? You still have a sleep, dude? I wonder if that criminal is using the app too. Futaba, this seems like an area of your expertise. Do you know anything about it? No, I never even heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. I see. It's okay though. I might not have much about know much about the nab, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you wherever criminal you're looking for. Man, <laughs> you can lay on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say. <sighs> oh. Now, Mia, you live in Yongan, yeah? You know about the old movie theater there? Well, the old couple is running it is apparently getting threatened by land speculators. They're trying to say the theater is in the way of some building they want to put up, but they can't just uh, let them force these people out, right? I feel bad for them. Right? The old couple is so afraid of the threats that they don't even want to open their theater. Anyway, our target is a guy named Yasao Jochi. Let's drive him off and save that old couple. There might be a change in mental because of all the magic stuff. If you want to go, now would be a great right time. Let's just wait everyone at the hideout. Oh, can I actually go out tonight? I can. Okay, so I can do hero font. I can do star hafumi. I can do Oya. Honestly, I want to do star hafumi. All right. But that being said, that is a pretty decent place to stop. When we return, this weekend, we are going back into Mentos, and we're doing all of these social links. But for right now, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, rip your rap. For right now, I am out. Later.